How's it going, everyone? My name is Flip Ribbon, and welcome back to some Pathologic Classic HD. Last episode, we, uh, sort of wandered around the town, trying to find, uh, what happened at the cathedral, without realizing I had to talk to Victor before I was allowed to consult others about the cathedral. So, there's that. And, uh, now we have to go to Big Vlad and Sabarov to see who they are concerned with being the person who fucked up the cathedral, which is... Uh. And for full disclosure, I have recorded a bit of this episode already. I just- Fuck you! Okay, this is not the wall I want to be around. Nah, I just don't want to be seen by you. But <laughs> I already recorded a little bit of this episode. Uh, I got up to both Vlad and Sabarov and talked to them. And that's it. That's all I know of day six so far. So, wait, what? Oh, right. <laughs> These are these are the saves. Uh, they're they're dead to me now. So what I'm gonna do since I have a little bit of insight is Vlad is gonna tell me that uh, He thinks it's Anna and Aspity classic, right? Oh, man It's it's totally the fucking dirty homeless person, but uh, Sabarov is like it has to be Lara and Yulia and I don't know if I can talk to them about this before I go and talk to big Vlad and such but I think it's worth endeavoring so I'm gonna try to talk to Lara, and if that doesn't work, then I'm just gonna do Vlad, then Sabarov, and... Ah, uh, but that's gonna be a waste of time if I can't talk to Lara without, uh, Big Vlad. Uh, yeah, let's just go talk to Big Vlad and Sabarov, actually. Never mind. And hopefully, my game is a lot less glitchy now. Um, I re-verified, -ver I re uh, my game files on Steam, and two whole files just did not install when I installed this game, so... Th that's a thing. That happened. And now it is fixed, so... Hopefully... It'll be okay. And today, I'm not gonna do it, but, uh, for every day after this one, uh, before I start the main quest or go wandering around the town, I'm gonna sleep until 7 in the morning so that, uh, because I've heard that that can cause a lot of trouble with the game's, uh, staging and all of that scripting nonsense, so... I will do that as well. Thank you all for letting me know. I love you so much. And thank you all for 60 subscribers, by the way. I I never know. I, 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 it happened. And then I was like, I should do something, right? But then I was like, wait, I'm a talentless boob. What would I ever do? Like, it would just be a video of me saying thank you. So uh, I'll just cram it in right here. Thank you guys for 65 subscribers. It's fucking awesome. Thank you so much. And I'm going to Laris, even though I'm... Hello. Oh, no. Okay, cool. Thought that the, uh, the banister was a person. Yeah. My mind's playing tricks on me. Day 11 Daniel, I sit in my four-cornered room staring at candles. Oh, hi! <laughs> Did anyone ever tell you that's exactly where I need to be, buddy? Uh, Juke? Daniel Juke is pretty effective. Uh, despite, you know, having to take a pretty large, wide berth, uh, it still works. So, 10 out of 10, Daniel. Vlad, take care of this crime problem. Isn't that what you're here for? No? Okay. Bachelor. Do you know what happened at the cathedral? Yes. Zabarov insists it could have either been Lyra or Yulia. I'm sure both are innocent, though. Either an angel or a criminal harborer called Aspity must be the culprit. Am I correct in assuming you must be familiar with both of those ladies? That doesn't feel right. What makes you think so? We have sufficient proof that warrants examination. One of them is the carrier, the man-eater that Yorkie's men were hopelessly looking for on the very first day. However oh, brilliant your discovery was, it made them give up on the hunt erroneously. So, I've made a mistake. Is that what you're saying? First and foremost, we need to find Burak. Nah, Burak's gone. I already asked that, alright? Burak is cast into the nothingness, but also I know he's in the termitary. I know he is, because some asshole said that. Who said that? Was it Sabarov? I don't remember, but... Ew, that takes me off. So I've made a mistake. Is that what you're saying? Ray, pardon me. Instead of connecting two glaring facts and realizing two enemies are indeed one, you were too rash to consider them two different entities. Probably thought that a murderous man-eater and a lethal disease are mutually exclusive. Aren't you too rash to accuse me of being rash, respectable master Vlad? After what happened in the termitary, I'd rather not I'd rather accuse you, and not these women of cannibalism. Careful, bachelor. My teeth are sharp too. I know the law. Powers that be hold your life in the palm of their hand. The one who caused this catastrophe slips away due to your actions. Oh my goodness, I do not envy you. I see. Go ahead and lynch the beauties yourself, kind sir. I want no part in this. We've been informed that one of them visited the Termitary two days prior to your arrival. Do examine them, Denkovsky. Look deeply into their blood. You are the only one who can tell a human being from a creature. 
point at the offender, and the rest will live. I'll do just that. But, uh, let me tell you a tale, okay? A, a tale about that. Your sources, say? Who are your sources, Vlad? I, I would love for you to fucking list out a bibliography of all of your contacts for me so that I could fucking understand what's going through your big melon head right now. And instead of going to talk to uh, Sabarov next, like I did last time, I'm going to go and do Aspidy and Anna and then Sabarov and then Lara and Yulia. You know, because because then at least I'm, I'm going through the suspects, right? And Anna, uh, not Anna, Ava. Ava. I did not talk to her when I got out of the bridge square. That was a mistake. I should have done that, but it's okay. It's okay. It'll be fine. I actually think I did that already. And she was like, Psh, no way. You could never possibly. It was never me. That's crazy. Would you kill yourself and your soul for me, Daniel? And I'm like, I know. Right, then. Urox disappeared. Lara is nowhere to be found. Except for in the slums. And what? Okay. <laughs> Just another fire breather. Don't worry. It's very odd. It's very odd indeed. Oh, do I have, like, a lot of things to sell? Eh, eh, not really. I could sell the lens, though. That's probably a good amount of money. So this must be the crude sprawl. This must be the entrance to the crude sprawl. Hey, fuck off. Oh, God. Oh, God. Lots of, lots of jiggly, janky, jinkle jankles. I don't like them. I don't like jankles. Okay, I heard you, Cloud. I heard you, okay? I don't need you to announce yourself. Actually, I kind of do, don't I? Uh... What the fuck? Who set up this district? It's fucking made like shit. <laughs> like, why is there just a dead end fence area? Whatever. Like, I'd really love to, to hear the logic behind this. Like, uh, even from Yulia, you know? If, if the idea is that it's- ah, fuck you. But if the idea is that it's, like, blood flowing through a body, like, do you think blood- Do you think our veins just have dead ends, you dumb bitch? Like, do you think they just flow and then- and then they just stop? They're like, ah, fuck, there's a wall. Can't blood blood can't go through there. I asked like I don't I don't get it. I do not get the concept at all. Oh, I'm all twisted around. Okay, okay. We're facing this way. Very, very nice. Okay, so you guys are coming with a vengeance, right? Yeah. Vengeance and a half. And you as well. Yep, you as well. Cool. Come on. Vengeance and a half. I see it. And you, sir. You have an angel somewhere. I I can smell it. Yep, I could fucking smell it the whole time, you son of a bitch. And now it's gone. Telling you, I don't, I don't want to make it seem like I'm blaming you guys for lying to me. But why did you do it and then do it again? Wait, are you, are you killing an herb bride? No, 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 you stop. She's hot. No, stop it, fucker, fucko, stink bug, dumb shit. Oh my god, you're kidding. They're burning her alive. You fucking idiot. Fuck you. She was hot, bro. Why'd you have to do that? God damn it, now I waste my health on you. Fuck it. <sighs> I'm sorry, dear. Wow, so there's really just people out here committing hate crimes, huh? Actually, hold on now. It's not a hate crime if it's a gamer moment. Go for it, brother. But no, seriously. Like, they, they're out here just, like, killing minorities because fuck it. They're, they're, they're carrying the disease. It's fucking insane. A in fact, I'm not gonna help that herb, herb lady, honestly. Uh, it really just fucked my health and, uh... I didn't even succeed, so there's that. At least I can convincingly say I tried. Oh, maybe I can try again. I, Man, I don't feel good about just leaving them like that, though. That's fucked up. Fuck you. Fuck you. Eat it. Dipshit. Oh, God. Did I hit the guard? God damn it. Die. Fucko. Oh, okay, rat. Fuck you. Run, lady. Run. Run forever. Oh, God. Okay. No disease. No disease on me. Oh, okay. But the guard's on me. God damn. Well... Okay, what a lost cause. I was trying to help the minorities. It just doesn't work. <sighs> what a shitty way to say that, okay? It, it just doesn't work. No, there's just too many crazy people. Daniel's one goddamn man. I'm sorry. I got other shit to do, unfortunately. My life is busy. I'm a Daniel and a Dankovsky. Man, leave it to this guy. That guy's gonna get his ass kicked in. Oh my god, you could have been a little bit more fucking graceful with that man. You almost belted me right in the head. See, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Aspides is never infected. I don't like it. I don't like it. If, if there was a, a plague carrier between all these women, it would 100% be Aspidy. Give me your blood. Shabnakadir is tracing the streets like bacteria in a vein. Yeah, yeah, you say it all the time. I know it's Clara, damn it, but it's you too. So you confuse me. And you do it on purpose, you asshole. I've started to miss you already. Aspie, you're being accused of being a man-eater. I'll come for you soon. What is this, Shabnak? 
It's an evil spirit wearing woman's flesh over its bones. Shamnap can be detected by several distinct signs. Its arms are too long. All of its toes are of the same length. You can see teeth peeping out from under its skin. Whoa. Thanks for the lesson. What makes you think I want to know this? Whoa. Whoa, indeed. I'm always happy to help. Want me to help you catch the monster? You're failing at this anyway. Almost a week has passed, but people keep dying and dying and dying and dying. Sure. Go ahead. Where to start? Perhaps the examination of the suspects would help. As time passes, I still can't get used to your scorn. The carrier is so easy to distinguish. Why are they still looking for a human? Enough. I can see people die without your help. Give me your hand. <sighs> sure, go ahead. Where to start? Perhaps the examination of the suspects would help. Of course it will. Here's how it goes. You gather all the ladies that you find disconcerting in the cathedral. It won't be hard, seeing how it's empty now. You light up a huge fire by the entrance. Then you make them strip naked and begin the very thorough examination, looking for the sharp protrusions from beneath the skin. You don't find any, of course. Then, I have an alternative solution. How about we take a look at your blood? Do you think this is funny? How about we take a look at your blood? Blood is unnecessary. Look for the teeth. So do you want to hear the rest or not? Anyway, sooner or later, one of them will break, unable to endure it any longer. You make a dash for it and tears straight into the fire, of course. And that's when her true nature will become apparent. She'll turn all black, she'll howl and wail. Her fingers will become crooked. It'll be pretty obvious, then, that she's no human. Stop laughing at me! Sure. Now stand still. Don't worry. The needles are new. God, you're an asshole. You're a laughing stock anyway, doctor. Isn't this exactly what you're doing? You should be stripping them naked. Even that would allow you to catch a more faithful glimpse of reality than those lenses of yours. Tried and true. Or, oh, it just dawned on me. Perhaps this is it. Perhaps you're so angry because you don't get enough female attention. <laughs> God, ass, but you are such a sassy Sue to Daniel. You just hate him. Enough. I'm only doing all this to protect you. Now let me take a look at your blood. Okay, so I'm getting samples of their blood. Right. Okay. Aspidy's blood. Aspidy's blood test. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, that was a great conversation, girl. I love Aspidy. I lied. You know when I said I hated Aspidy? Aspidy is the fucking most hilarious person ever. Like, at least someone still has a sense of humor, huh? Uh, let's go get Anna's blood now. What the hell? Okay, yeah. Sorry, Mr. Knife Man. I was assuming you would go after literally anyone else, but no, no. Daniel's a rich man. I mean, not that rich, but what if I just never go back to grief? I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm waiting for a letter still, but... Ah, uh, yeah. Ooh. I don't like a $10,000 debt hanging over my fucking skull. Uh... So ha <laughs> Shut up, God. Blah, blah, blah. What do you think, you're the fucking Hulk? You goddamn asshole. You're a dumbass with a bunch of bottles of liquor. Right, beat the shit out of him. Thank you, thank you for routing his attention. That is super helpful, my friend. All right, death row, I can take it. I can take death row. Come at me, you goddamn plague clouds. Oh God, plague finder's gone. It's fine. Aha! Goddamn pieces of shit. Can't stop me. Oh God, uh, are you throwing knives at me? No. Awesome. Anna's house is down to the left. Down to the le left. Down to the left. Girl, run! Run! Away from here! Flee! Are you okay? Can I talk to you? Of course not. You're fleeing! That makes sense! Are you fleeing from the rat? Oh no. You are fleeing from a monster. See? Plague. Angel. Ran. Head. First. Into it. Nothing. I just can't believe you guys. I love you so much, and I really want to believe you, but I cannot believe that T-Rexing is the fucking valid way to get away from those. It just doesn't work, so... I don't know. It's strange. I trust you guys. Off me. So ugly. Yeah, you are ugly. I'm kidding, Anna. My you're hair beautiful. Is disheveled and coming out. Yep. Oh yeah, you're just ranting about how you're dying. Oh, how I wish to give this place the laugh. The sooner the better. Anna, you're accused of what happened in the cathedral. It wasn't me. It's Clara. It was her. It's all her doing. Even the Savarovs have acknowledged it. They're horrified, I've been told. Torn apart between affection and duty. Katarina has torn her clothes to pieces, hair unstrung, wallowing naked at her husband's feet, begging to spare her daughter. Clara? Why Clara? You by any chance reciting some monologue? It's hard to believe the Sabarovs are capable of such fervent scenes. <laughs> it's kinda true. They very much are. Katarina has only just turned 30. As for fervency, she has quite an exquisite temper, just so you know. Morphine in her head and passion in her blood. She's capable of many things. Demonic woman. That brings us smoothly to the most pressing matter. I need a sample of your blood. 
My blood? That's news. You think my blood is a different color and thus deserves your most careful scrutiny? I'm waiting. How about I shoot you? <laughs> How about I shoot you, you mezzo-soprano? Eh? It's not like there's a, there'll be anyone to mourn a loss. You know me. Something's required for the job to be done. Here. Take it. I'm nothing to be afraid of. I just don't like the sight of blood is all. Ouch! Does it have to be so painful? Why are you taking so much? I'm going to fate. You're trying to kill me, you butcher. I'm not guilty. What? I haven't even squeezed out an ounce yet. Uh, as for that, we'll wait and see. Perhaps until the autopsy. I haven't even squeezed out an ounce yet. Goddamn baby. A letter? Did I get a letter? No, I did not get a letter. Actually, maybe I did? No, I did not get a letter. Fantastic. No other tasks yet, which is kind of a shame, but whatever. Aspity gave her blood with derisive confidence, self-assured, perhaps in the way of a stepwoman, in the way of stepwoman trickery. Nevertheless, the microscope is immune to magic, sees through all charm and deception. We'll see. We'll see. So that's who the nighttime visitor was. That's why Lara and Yulia's belongings were found in the cathedral. That's who Alexander was trying to protect all along. This extraordinary girl is the very person I should would have started with. There's too much fervor in her. Fervor which was mistakenly thought of to be a sacred nature. I have a feeling that Clara's blood has a lot to tell. Squeezed out a drop of Anna's blood. I need to study it under a microscope as soon as possible. Nah, nah, nah. All that's bullshit. All that's bullshit. I already fucking knew it was goddamn Clara. I knew from the goddamn whistle it was Clara. I'll tell you that much. All right. Angel is close by. There's one, like, right here. No, it was, like, right here. Now it's behind me. I rat. Okay, so Sabarov next, because I have no fucking idea where Clara would be. Uh, other than my previous theory that maybe she was in the warehouses with Notkin, but... That ooh, little boom. I really hate those fucking little things on the side of fucking shops. I hate them a lot. But uh, it would just be an endeavor to really go test that theory. So I'm going to wait until we get a little more information. Know what I'm saying? Hello, friend. See, you're so inconsistent. I did that like five fucking times when I was recording before. And it just, whatever. I, I guess now it decides to block the entire entrance. It's just, it's a little fucking obnoxious. Like, I can't get over how conflicted I feel about the plague districts in this game. Like, on one hand, they are so perfectly demonstrous, like, demonstrably, that is the word, oppressive. Like, you just feel like shit when you go through it, and you know you're fucked, and it'll just take a long time, and it'll be painful, and it'll be full of the plague. And that tone, I adore, like nothing else. Even more than patholo Pathologic 2's uh, plague zones, but... I don't know. In 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 gameplay, it's a little rough. You already know what happened in the cathedral. Yes, tragic. But at least it makes our jobs easier. Man eater rumors turned out to be true. If we catch her, things will get better. I don't want to believe that it's Lara or Yulia. The evidence is too obvious to just let him walk, isn't it? Did you order to arrest Yulia and Lara? I'm going to. If we fail to establish which one of the two it was, both are going to the dungeons to wait for the Inquisitor's arrival. What grounds? So the culprit was identified. I don't believe it. Mm. So the culprit was identified. Some of the dead in the cathedral were clutching expensive items. Affected, of course. Some belong to one, some to the other. I feel that unless I interfere, you will kill them all. Kill all of them. Fine, I will check their blood. Ah, you salty fuck. This is the end. This is what the Inquisitor is going to see tomorrow. Is Clara with you? No, Bachelor. Clara is not with us. Too much evidence says that she is not who she pretended to be. It is possible that she is indeed Simon's murderer and spawn of the earth. I decided to banish her from our home, withdraw our protection from her. She told me she was like a daughter to you. She is the prime sp suspect. So what course of action do you intend to take? I have considerations of my own. I heard she treats Katarina and you almost like parents. Is that true? You are responsible for what she's been doing. Hence, I'd like to hear your recommendation. What am I to do with your protege? Katarina and I, Katarina and I made it clear we deem her a gift from above. Katarina was even ready to adopt her. Something that confused us, however. Strange disappearances and the odd consequences of her actions, I presume? And the thing is, he, Katarina sensed her inhumanity. But still, we approached her as if we knew nothing of her secret. I trusted Clara. She seemed to me an emissary of some benevolent power, sent to assist us in disposing of this atrocious plague. And now you don't trust her. You are remarkably quick to demote your adopted daughter from angel to demon. And now you don't trust her. Supernatural powers do not distinguish between black and white. They do not share human views on good and evil. To the human eye, the border that separate, separates earthly evil from earthly good is thin. Thin and broken. 
That ancient logic's beyond our understanding. This again. Reasoning of prehistoric hunters. Fine, have it your way. I'll study her blood. We're just one finder these days. If Clara's guilty, you are the most guilty of them all. Your spouse is quite skilled in seeing what's hidden. If you knew her from the start to be a messenger of the step, uh, the search for the carrier never stops since day one. All suspects were cleared by you. How do you explain this? <laughs> just put him over the fucking flame. Uh, this one. I personally entrusted this girl with checking the suspicious. One thing I know firmly, she is absolutely assured that she is doing good. She only tried, sincerely. I do not know what the creature hides beneath her skin and what it brings into the world. But Clara knows even less. She thinks herself a savior. The Inquisitor will listen to these arguments, but will not consider them when he sends you to the gallows. If you knew that the cause of our misfortune may be hiding inside Clara, you'll have to bear responsibility. I do not fear the Inquisitor, Bachelor. I'm well accustomed to answering for my actions. I am treating Clara with proper awe. And like you, I am counting on the veracity of the local tradition. It is my duty to burn the source of the plague, even if it turns out to be Clara. If you won't help me to determine the carrier precisely, I'll have to burn all the suspects. Don't worry, I'll study their blood. I burn! Isolate! Come to think of it, most townsfolk of note are already under lock and key, credit to my efforts! Last night showed that isolation solves nothing. More fucking lunacy. Last night once again showed the authorities to be impotent! You fucking piece of shit! Era for Obrivus est. Yeah, motherfucker, I haven't been very motherfucking at, uh, Latin. I almost said Italian. <laughs> oh, mamma mia, escape Robles! <laughs> I'm just. Uh, I am a goddamn mess. Okay, so talk to all the girls, yeah? And did he tell me where Clara would fucking be? He fucking didn't. He fucking did not at all. Katarina must know where to find Clara, but will she tell me? God. Damn it, she better. She goddamn better. Like, Katarina, come on. We got off to a kind of okay start. You said I was gonna die, and oh. Bruh, I thought she was T-posing. You. My patrons have abandoned me. <laughs> I'm expelled from their very house. <laughs> They'll pay for it. <laughs> so, so, have you met the changeling already? Who? The hell? They threw you out and now you're here? I have. Just now. Come closer, sweet girl. Please, please, catch this loathsome, cr loathsome creature. She's scared of you. She knows you've already almost killed her. Help us. Don't make me resort to brute force. I want to take a look at your blood now. But you don't have a single needle. How are you going to puncture my arm? You're right. In the world did this happen? I don't know. I didn't take anything. I'm not a thief. Never have I ever taken anything that didn't belong to me. But if you find some, do come. Do come back to me. I'll be waiting. I'll show you my blood. Just catch and destroy that creature. Fine. Don't you try to avoid me. Epileptic, are you? Staying here on the responsibility of Governor of Governor Sabarov and Spouse Katarina. Epileptic? What the hell? Don't you try to avoid me. I don't have a syringe. What, I needed a syringe to get the blood? I got two things of blood without- Did you hear that? Fuck no! Don't jerk off in front of me! You've changed. Or am I imagining things? You're imagining things. I feel like I'm going mad. What did I do to deserve so much hate? So many hearts have taken me in already. But now... I beg your pardon, it is me who's going mad. Come again? What, what did you say? Although, it doesn't matter now, anyway. I have a syringe. I, it's right fucking here. Syringe. An old-fashioned syringe used for injections. Are you kidding? It's yeah. me who's going mad. This is ridiculous. Are you kidding me? This game is just saying, no, you don't, you don't get to have that answer. Sorry, even though you're clearly prepared to have that answer. Really? The game has nothing for this outcome. Absolutely goddamn nothing. That is really fucking disappointing. I hope this changeling gets caught soon. What a, what a despicable creature. A product of the steps insanity, made of bones and clay. Do you know that the suspect is one of the young local noblewomen? Who is it standing there? There's no carrier, it's a myth. Who is it standing there? The girl? That's not her. How could you think that? Don't you see? This is my foster daughter, Clara. That's the one I'm looking for. But she's not guilty. Don't you know? She is a saint. She's helpful and kind. She heals people. She's already dragged more than a hundred men out of their graves. She was at the cathedral. It wasn't her. It was some changeling that walks around under the guise of our sweet girl. We drove her out, and she crept to the cemetery. Proper place for this creature. She nestles there under the wing of the insane Grace. Daughter can't stand her as well. I need to take a sample of her blood. You were fond of Grace, weren't you, Katarina? Grace has gone mad. I'm still very much fond of the girl, yet cannot help being angry with her. 
She refuses to show me the grave that the Mara's hiding in. I declare this girl grounded. I assume the town hall and the governor's house are equally reliable in this respect. Grace? No, it's not Grace who's gone mad. <laughs> I declare this girl grounded. Do it! Undoubtedly. It was bitter sarcasm. The girl must stay here until the Inquisitor comes for her. No miracles until Karminsky arrives. None! It'll be Orf, not Karminsky. Orf? Really? Yes. Karminsky was recalled. He's needed in the field. As far as I understood, a certain delicate operation requires a hanging judge and a punisher. How in the world is Orf unsuitable for this? Wait. What? It's such confusing writing sometimes. Like, you can't say, wait, Orf is coming? And then they're like, yes, Orf, because Kaminsky is doing this and this and that. And then Daniel's like, wow, so Orf can't take care of it either, huh? So, <laughs> bruh, what did we just fucking write right there? Grace, the deranged daughter of the cemetery caretaker, would know where Clara may be found. It's not it says Changeling right there! It says Changeling right there! The just shut up, it's not! It's my fault. It is your fault, you fucking piece of garbage! It says it right there, you think I'm an idiot? It is me who is going mad. Abso goddamn fuck. Right then, I know it's not Lara or Yulia. I just know that for sure. I don't need to even fucking waste my time. I need to go find the Changeling. That is what I have to do. If it's anybody, it's Aspidy or it's Clara. There's just no fucking way it's Yulia or Lara. I mean... <sighs> There's no fucking way until it is the only fucking way, and then I wasted all day running after goddamn <sighs> the fucking red herrings. But you know what? I don't think that's what's happening here. I think I'm actually doing okay. How would be the best to get to the graveyard? Uh, very good idea would be to just go to the uh, go to the railroad maybe, but then be kind of out of the way. Goddamn. Ah, oh, balls! No, 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 no! See, you can keep coming, but it's not going to... <sighs> I won't hang it over you guys' head anymore, okay? I know you didn't mean to lie to me, and my game is probably just broken. Rats and rats on my toes. So many rats, Jesus Christ. Ah, fuck, I have no idea, man. Are these different yet? Are these the same? Nope, still the same! Just don't fucking understand at all. Like... What the hell? We got Meridorm, and a fucking embryo and a key. Isn't that nice? We're gonna try and creep into the step from over here. Hopefully there's that little gap and it's not covered by a goddamn invisible fence! There are so many rats behind me, aren't there? Oh, just two. That's nice. Just two. Please be open, of course. It's not open. Oh my god, it is open. Thank you, god. Thank you, god. Hi, Plague. Angel, bye. You know, I'm just gonna keep running and nothing will fucking happen. It's just... Yeah, it's a little interesting. It's a little interesting. Yes, yes, very good, very good. Into the step, my friends, as fast as we possibly can. I wish I could check the time. Uh, I got running. Rats on my back, and I'm running from the rats on my back. You're gonna give me all the speed I lack. I've been running Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I think I missed the door. I fucking did. I'm a big old dumbass motherfucking dick. Ah, I go in. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Got uh, very into my punk, bro. I'm soaking wet. Gross. Disgusting. My head is splitting. Have you seen Clara? She's hiding. In the infected parts of town, most likely. Or maybe somewhere by the station. A terrible person is coming up from the capital to execute her tomorrow. She wanted to hide between the carriages and slip onto a train and leave. But didn't want to do it without saying goodbye to Murky and Sticky first. Grace. Does Clara have a twin sister? Shavnaka Deers made a habit of pretending to be Clara. She came to me once, talked to me. I didn't realize that at first, and then I wondered. Why was she so tall? I looked down and saw it. She had no feet. Just broken bones sticking out of her shoes. So scary. I was so short of breath, I ran away. She had such an evil scowl. Laughing. What did she say? Lots of things. She even mentioned you. She said she was looking for you. She said she wanted to lure you into a trap to fool the doctor. She said the doctor's not so smart. She fooled everyone, and she's going to fool him, too. Turn his needles into hooks so he won't prick her hands. Damn. What? So that was just nothing? Uh, really? Have you? Oh my dear, ha have a look. Uh, I couldn't fix your head. Okay. Rats are gone. Oh boy. Katarina has washed her hands and left the betrayal to a humble girl named Grace. I doubt this increases my chances. Good. Good. Just 
very good. Okay, well, off to Lara and Anna. It is only 519. Okay, she's gonna say goodbye to Sticky and Murky first. She may be at the station or at Sticky's house. I doubt he's at, she's at Sticky's house. I'm gonna make a hard save and go right to the station right now. I'm putting all my eggs in the Clara basket, okay? And then going back on that hard save, my eggs start tumbling out of my ass, okay? But uh, I just need to find her. I just need to catch her. I need to show her. She's not that goddamn smart. She's not that goddamn smart either. She thinks she's so goddamn clever. Oh, yeah. The doctor's not so funny. I'm turning his fucking syringes into hooks. Whatever the fuck that means. Like, uh, do I still have my syringe? I sure do. I sure fucking do. Which makes me have a fucking wonder. Just makes me have a goddamn fucking scratch my head wonder about a few things, you know? Like, this game is making the distinction between Clara and the Shabnak a lot more clear. But... <laughs> Because of my bullshit with Pathologic 2, it's hard for me to take that at face value. Like, it's hard to know if that's actually true. The goddamn bastard teleported. She she looked me in the eyes and told me, Hi there. What's up, bitch? Turn around now. And when I turned around, she was there. Was, she's a fucking demon. I don't trust Clara, okay? Just as much as I don't trust Changeling. I trust nothing. So somewhere in the station, perhaps. Where would they be in the station? Maybe the car. Maybe Murky's car. Right, maybe that's Murky's train car. Okay. Okay. Wait, is there something in here? In, in this area? Knockin's castle. Okay, we're gonna uh, also go there. Since we're- since it's, you know, in the way. Hi. In we go. Hey, Knockin. Uh, yeah, you seen Clara around anywhere? Real pain in my ass. Nah, now it's not a good time to talk. Okay, yeah, little shit. And you guys just don't talk to me? That's nice. Is this supposed to be the lantern? That is way less cool. Although I do like the colors. It is very nice. I just super bumped the table. You know that? Little man? Okay. Okay. This is a waste of my time. Off we go. Oh. Oh, goody. Oh, fucking grand. Oh, goody fucking grand! Is there... There's two entrances to this fucking area and no exits on the station end. The warehouses are fucking built so that they store the things the station delivers. Why wouldn't there be a fucking entrance to the station from the warehouses? We don't think about these things. It is just to fuck with you. Like, it, it, I've said this before, before, I'm sure, but like, it's rather impressive that they have such a fucking sadistic, like, level designer. Like, what an asshole. Just a jackass. Knew exactly where to put just the wrong things. Thanks. Thank you. Damn. Station's cool looking, bro. Oh, this music, man. Familiar. Fucking love it. It's the step music in Patholo Pathologic 2 as well. Pathologic. That's me, bro. So, trying to hop a train, are we? It's an interesting, uh, interesting goal, you know? You can try and do that. Uh, where's Murky's? This should be it. Yeah, interesting goal, but I think I'm gonna kill you instead. Oh, hi, Mercs. I don't want to kill you. You're adorable. Hello, man. What was in that well? They're bringing the clay back. Yeah, it's not great. She came close. Her head's murmuring. Says she'll eat your heart before you even notice. Oh, Jesus. Uh, who are you? Who are you talking about? Uh, who are you talking about? You can hide from her in the nursery. But not for long. Needy draws her wrong. She's a distaff. Who is she? Stop bothering me with the silliness. <laughs> Walks into child's train car. All right, stop bothering me, idiot. Who is she? I don't know. Tell that to your mummy. She'll hush you down. Uh. Dad used to bring food from the factory. Yeah. <laughs> Steps rolling its brains under the earth's crust. Huh. Did you make that up yourself? No, I was taught. Amara girl is looking for you. Beware. Clara? Yes, but you don't need her. You need her twin sister. She'll help you. She helps everybody. Clara is nice. Amara is evil. Amara is a shabna. A marad. I'm a stale. Where's Clara? Hush, shut up. Where's Clara? Well, what do you need Clara for? You need the Nastale that's pretending to be Clara. They're easy to tell apart. All right, how do I tell them apart? Amara can't talk. Her words are like little spits of dirt. Filthy. She mutters and chatters and mumbles. People don't talk like that. Earth spills out of her mouth, too. Where can I find her? Mara's hiding today. Everyone's hunting her, and she's hunting you. She thinks that if she kills you, everyone will just let her go. <laughs> Damn it, is there a single sane person in this whole town? Doubtful. Doubtful, indeed. 
I'm just waiting to come out of a single door, and that little shit is just sitting there smiling at me. That's her signature fucking move. Okay, that was a good idea, though, to go to Murky. Okay, she's somewhere. She's somewhere. She's looking for me. But I can hide from her in the nursery. What would the nursery be? Would it be Notkins? Is that what it's called? No. No, the nursery. The nursery. That's the castle. This is the nursery, isn't it? Huh. Interesting. Lara and Yuli are absolutely waste of time. Uh, yes, yes, here we go. Katarina must know where to find Lara. Uh, what's going on in Katarina's home? Who's there? Who are they looking for? They're insane, or I am. There's no third option. Or is there? <laughs> Danielle, I love you so much. It's like... Him saying that is the most humanizing thing in the world, because I feel like I say that shit all the time with this game. Like, oh, it has to be this or this. There's no other option, unless there is, because, you know, this game's a fucking dick. Uh, I just, I, I feel you, Dan. You are my spirit healer until the day I die, most likely. If I could grow up and, and grow up into a great big Artemy oak tree, I, I would be absolutely proud of myself, but... I just don't see it happening. I mean, Artemy is not a perfect bastion of greatness, but I just, I just like him a lot. All right, he's a badass. He's got a cool voice. He knows how to make fucking cures for the plague, man. Come on, how can you not want to tap that? Not that you'd be doing much of the tapping, you know what I'm saying? All right, so back to Sabaros. That is indeed the plan. Oh fuck, do I go in the warehouses? No, we absolutely go around. Oh, that's gonna waste so much time. Actually, it won't. Actually, it won't. We'll just go along uh, this one so that we don't have to cross the bridge later and just go straight up. It'll be fine. Are there any pipes? No. <laughs> yeah. Hey, actually, it's just uh, the Gorkin. Ah, uh, you can't walk in the Gorkin in this game. That's a shame. Man, I love taking dips in the Gorkin. I actually kind of want to uh, go back to Pathologic 2 and do a bunch of uh, goofy-ass things just to see like how much detail they really put into the world. Oh, man, I've been craving it. I miss Pathologic 2. That game has... It's just, mm, it's like putting on a pair of fucking old boots. That, you know, it's just nice. And I bet going from this game to Pathologic 2, like Plague Districts, man, it'll be like a fucking cakewalk. I'll be like, oh, thank God I'm back. You know, welcome home, Artemy. Hey, buddy, come at me, bro. Yeah, you can't come at me, bro. Oh, bro, you might get me if I come at you that way. <laughs> See ya, chief. That's right, chief, my dude, bro. You're all getting it, plague clouds. Hunger, oh wow, look at hunger. I'm showing its rearing little head. I haven't even paid attention to my stats at all. It's fucking crazy. Hi, you. Tackle me. Body me. I know you both want it. At least you want it. Yep. <laughs> Hi, friend. Uh, can we let bygones be bygones? Sweet. Hello. I need to eat some food first. Perhaps a fish. Yes, fantastic. <laughs> Do you see the problem here, Katarina? The herb gatherers have performed their foul rite on the raggy barrow. Yeah, everything will be fine. Where's the girl? Gone already. She darted straight after you, you as soon as the door closed behind your back. It didn't even take her a minute. I was positive she went with you, but she was your responsibility. She was... Heavens knows what it was. This cannot be... Thought never occurred to me. Soon you'll be the one to stand before the Inquisitor. She's made a fool of you. God. Only. Damn it. Fuck. 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 It looks like someone is trying to get rid of several young women. Okay, Big Vlad suspects two young ladies of dubious reputation. He says they're both from not from around here, but both have been living here for a while now. Why? Why is that relevant? Why is that relevant at all? The governor suspects two upstanding women, but women. But can he be trusted? Where is the carrier? Well, well, let's see here what the governor and his clairvoyant wife have to say about the saint girl they've taken into their home. I feel like I've done all those already, dude. Where the fuck is she? I hate this. I hate this. Fucking knew it. Her name wasn't Clara. It was Changeling. I sh What would I have done, though? Okay. She turned my fucking syringe into a hook, didn't she? <laughs> it fucking disgusts me to know I've slept in a bed with that fucking monster. My chest hurts. Good. We'll talk later. We will, we, we will talk later. God. Damn it. Okay, I guess I'm going to Yulia and Lara, and I am just going to talk to them about this. Because you know what? Fuck it. Oh, fuck it. Aspidy and such. Aspidy and friends were, you know, marginally helpful. And uh, when she was, you know, when she wasn't fucking roasting me. Actually, that's a lie. She was roasting me literally the entire time. Like, Okay, I just want to, I, I want to <laughs> make this very perfectly clear. Every time I've T-Rexed with the, the, the Plague Angels, 
the second I move again. Okay, because they don't disappear when you T-Rex. They just do the thing. Oh, the morning of the sixth day has come. 178 infected people. 137 died yesterday. 15 have gone missing. 822 is the total death toll. 347 are currently infected and all deads in less than a day. Day six in which in which the bath bachelor is offered several possible sources of the infection to choose at his discretion. What? Oh, this is what they mean. Okay. I don't, I don't think that's discretion, okay? Uh, oh, fuck. Man, this is the, this is a real problem. You know, th that play at the beginning, where they're like, well, we should probably go our separate ways. You know, in theory, that sounds great. But imagine if me and Artemy were just butt buddies right now, and we were just like, man, you were in the termitary? That's crazy. Tell me what was in there, dog. I can tell you what's going on with this whole plague carrier nonsense. You know that Clara Changeling girl who's fucking with your autistic, like, adopted daughter? Bro. Fuck her. I got her. Like, we could be collabing right now, but no. Everyone's too fucking proud. Everyone's too proud for their clever clogs. Hey. People die scurrying from their homes. Yup. The town is in agony. Yup. Ah, uh, it's done. Victory's in my grasp, but we just need to get that out of my- out of the way. Out of the- get this out of the way. I thought we already had this conversation. Yeah, I have a theory already. Uh, a bacterium of this kind. Uh, dealing- you have to have a common source. Uh, can only be spread by a living being whose blood the bacteria procreate at an insane rate. Man, it's not one or the other. Like, I guess, fuck, fuck, man, it's not one or the other. Uh, living person. Why? Bacteria that have already escaped into the open will expire very soon. They can't survive without living blood. Whenever they find blood, they immediately deplete it. Consequently perish like fish out of water. Yeah, uh, find the guilty and burn them. Yeah, yeah. If only it was that simple. Now I got to question you. Question her. Oh my god, why Why is there even a fucking waypoint then? Zabarov suspects Yulia Lirachiva. Her possessions were found in the cathedral this morning. Save. Excuse me! What the fuck? Did it fuck up? Did it fuck up the staging because it was- it, it turned to seven? And now- and now the quest is all fucked? I will be... on fire. I will be on fire blazing in a blaze of saddles, if that's how that fucking works. Okay, let's go talk to Yulia, or Lara, my bad. Hopefully, she actually can respond to a set of questions that I actually have to ask, huh? Uh-huh. Suspiciously clean, huh? Uh, that's very strange. Wasn't this, like, infected to hell just yesterday? I don't know. I don't know at all. Uh, I, I should probably just spring for the fucking infection map, but... Man, I don't got a thousand dollars a day to blow on a fucking map. You. Was it a month ago? I can't remember. I don't even know what you're talking about. Is there anything I can do to be of help? I'd be extremely thankful if you could feed me and provide me with medicine. Okay, yeah, but no, but no! Is there anything I can do to be of help? Oh, no, it's not like that. I only came by to check on you. I've been thinking. Do you think this evil can be punished at all? If it has neither a source nor a carrier, how can it be stopped? It's dissolved in the things that can neither be cut nor burnt. This challenge is beyond human capabilities, isn't it? Tell me, does the Inquisitor arrive today? Today or tomorrow? Why do you ask? There's always a source, and today I'll figure it out, whatever the cost! Today or tomorrow? The purpose of the Inquisition is just that. They exist to do the humanly impossible. That's the only way to justify their horrible license. Rumor has it we've been some sent someone particularly sinister. Is that true? I think it's Karminsky. Rather peculiar man. It's a morphine addict. Take morphine, doze off for a day, and then present a solution to any problem. He's living with one foot in the grave and another on the scaffold. He's yet, he has yet to make a single mistake. Perhaps it'll be Orf, an owl of a man. He specializes in the calamities of dramatic scale. Famine, riot, epidemic, drought. Orf is an alias. No one knows his real name. Cathedral! No! Something happened. Something fucking happened to this game and it's fucking staging, didn't it? Like, what the hell? What the fuck balls? I can't ask them about anything? Why? Did I not talk to Sabra? Aw, oh, man, what the fuck? This is ridiculous. This is ludicrous. I can't talk to the girl. I just can't talk to them. Okay, fuck it. It's not them anyway. Who cares? It's not them. Who gives a fuck? Just go back to large-ass Vlad and say I got the blood samples. I need to go to my fucking laboratory and fucking test the blood samples. Fine. Fine. And when we're there, we can ask Ava for some of her blood as well, and it will all be fucking hunky goddamn Dory. Who's on my adherence list today? Who, who, who could it be? Eh, Georgie. Okay. Okay, Mark. 
I'm... I don't know why Mark is on my list. I don't know why. I don't get it. I was hoping it would elaborate onto his character more, but it didn't at all. And now... Uh, I want to talk to him. I need to know more, goddammit. And I know I sound very angry. I'm actually just very intense. I'm very fucking focused. I need to find this answer because this is the day. I can feel it in my goddamn bones. If I don't do something right today, everything fucked. Everything go boo-boo, bye-bye. Hi, Mark. You got any insight, perhaps? Doubtful. The Inquisitor arrives tomorrow. Yup. They'll know what to do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Why did I even set this up? Why did I even set this up? Hospital, my fat freaking dingus. What time is it? 744. Uh, uh. Oh, come on. You don't mean that. Yeah, see? Just get, get his body. It's fun. Hi. No, you don't have to do that. You really don't have to do that. <laughs> I'm the best juker in the world. You just can't stop me. Jesus. Hi, saturation orange. It's fucking crazy out in here. Uh... Oh, no. Right? No, okay, good. I was like, is is the British Square infected? Because that's a no-go. Also, holy Jesus. How many people is that behind me? I think it's like eight, counting two rats. Hey, bot. <laughs> it's not a party, I promise. I didn't bring them on purpose. They just sort of followed me, all right? I, come on, guys. I didn't invite you. Hey, girl. I need your blood. Fucking despicable. Yes? Hi, doctor. You so much as move, you little tramp. Are you looking for me? May I touch your forehead? No, stand still. Here's how it's going to go from here. I'll be asking. You will be answering. Clara, you are being accused of the premeditated murder of several hundred of hundreds of people. The victims are still being counted. The method of murder? Deliberately infecting them via personal contact. Were you the cloaked woman that was seen in the cathedral last night? Of course, I'm not denying it. I was trying to help them, and I did. I've cured a lot of them. I promise. I fed them water and offered gifts. Because this way, it's easier for them to believe. And that's very important. Important, sorry. You're a tough one, aren't you? Should I maybe wait for the Inquisitor to arrive? Should I wait for the Inquisitor to arrive? Huh? When I was leaving, I was sure that I managed to cure them all. I must have missed someone. Or something. I know it's my fault, but I swear I wasn't the cause of all of this. My heart would have sensed that. Although I have to admit, I'm confused already. Give me your hand. I have to have a look at what's going on inside of you. Confused? All right, Clara, go. I can already see that I was mistaken. Confused? Doesn't matter. It's not like you believe me anyway. What if my blood turns out to be wrong in some way? What will you do to me then? I'll hand you over to Will Gimsky. He'd be in charge of the execution from then on. Hand first, questions later. Yes, of course. Right or left? I don't care, and stand still. Clara, hey, look at me here. Are you aware of what you're being accused of? I don't care, and stand still. I don't give a shit. Clara's blood is in my hands. She seems confident, and not in the least bit afraid. I not help but feel a skeptic. Uh, feel as a skeptic would when... Feel as when an illusionist offers him a seemingly empty hand. Sorry. Ah, uh, fuck. Hey. Sometimes. Uh, get some sleep, I guess, is the only thing for that. Okay. I'm going upstairs, now. Stay! Like a goddamn dog. Okay, okay. Let's go. Microscope time. Blood. Blood, 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 blood. Alright, so this is Aspidy's blood. Aspidy's blood looks pretty fucking normal. Not gonna lie to ya. Yup. Yup, indeed. Uh, Anna's blood. Very good. Very, very good. Clara's blood. No! 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 No, 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 no! What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Blood my hands. Okay, are you down there then? You better have stayed. I told you to stay like a good girl. Good. Hi, doctor. Taking a look at your blood. It is the strangest blood I've ever seen, but it doesn't contain the thing I was looking for. I've lost this battle. I've molded over. Here's what I think. Hand me over to the Inquisitor. I'll have to talk to him anyway. You have every right to do that, don't you? And most importantly, you won't be making a mistake. Why? I've already told you, you're not the witch. Is my word not good enough for you? What the fuck? I've molded over, and, well, people must be right. The key to this mystery, the mystery of the disease, must have something to do with me. Jesus, she looks like she's on goddamn crack. Even if I'm not the cause, I'll help the Inquisitor get to the bottom of all this. He'll find a way to extract the truth from me. On a rack? No, not gonna happen. Aren't you afraid? Whatever I do, I can't avoid meeting him. 
so why don't we just fix it so that you will be turning me in? That'd be a great victory for you, wouldn't it? Why are you frowning? And what would be the value of such a victory? The real foe has not been identified yet. Or do you expect me to behave like they do? To engage in wistful thinking, lie to everyone, and to myself, like those who are in charge of our fate and who I despise so much? No, I refuse. No, I'm not frowning. I'm glad you've made the decision yourself, Clara. Perhaps you truly are a saint, like they say. So go to the uh, Inquisitor with me, DC. <laughs> Jesus. I do not accept victories as gifts. We're free to go to the Inquisitor if you so desire, but only after I tell him of your innocence. <sighs> Fuck. What would be the value of such a victory? Fuck me, man. Oh, God damn it! Something is wrong here. True, Clara's blood is indeed unusual, but it's also clear of any infection. There's no plague carrier. Primary assumption proved incorrect. The cornerstone of my theory has crumbled. I failed to discover the source of the infection. I was unable to finalize the treatment methodology. Am I going to say the- Oh! Oh, good! Yeah, that's exactly- Oh! Fuck me! Oh, God damn it. Oh, God, 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 God damn it. Okay. No. Nope, we got a lot of stuff to do today. We have a lot of wandering to do. Not gonna lie to ya. There is a lot of wandering to do before we decide yeah. on this fucking conversation. Okay, first things first. Let's just scan the blood so that we can just fucking clear that we did it. Uh, blood, 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 blood. Uh, so there's Aspides. Is it the exact same? It's exactly the same. It is exactly the same as Anna and Aspides. But, but he said it was the most unusual blood he's ever seen, so shouldn't there be some difference? Any fucking minor difference? Anything. No. Oh. It's a- oh, oh, oh. It's a blood cell. You. You. I need to look for you, don't I? A panacea- It's the key. I think I kind of get it. We need to find Artemy. We need to find Artemy right now. Fuck. Fuck. But I actually have to end this episode here. I am so sorry. I know, okay? I just don't have enough time. I have to edit before this video gets out at like 7 o'clock at night. That's just inappropriate. But I hope you enjoyed. I very much enjoyed, despite being very, very frightened. I'm going to save before I do my whole spiel, because that's redonkulous amount of time being wasted. But I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Do whatever you want in the world. Have an amazing day. We're getting her next time. We are fucking you up. So yeah, you! Tired. I don't care! Anyways, guys, I'm me. You're you. But I've got to go. So... He's out. It's so cold. However astute, you are unable to fathom the extent of the evil you're doing.